Yeah. I've seen one before. No, I, I saw them last year actually, Mark had some, but that's, I think it's a sickle blade, blacksmith round. Hi, well in this film I'm going to show you broom making besom or besom as they're known, brooms made with birch twigs. And this is actually a broom making race held at the Weald and Downland Open Air Museum. And in a minute one of my friends Phil Bedell, who had a go at this for the first time, will run through what materials he was going to use. My components are one right. of those, a stick that long. Right. Get under the cover for a minute, yep. Yeah, I don't know how long that is, it's that long. Yep. Um, some so uh, for birch, is birch. it? Yeah, some birch. <laughs> a bit of wire. Oh yeah, some, some wire. Oh, hence a pair of pliers uh, for, for the, um, securing the twist, said wire. Yeah, twisting wire. Yeah, and around. what's the saw? Uh, for cutting the ends off. Oh right, um, neatening it up. The, for my extensive training. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, we have a long piece in the middle and then we kind of move it. It may not look like this. Right. It. It'll look broom shaped. Right, um, okay. One of the first steps is to assemble the birch twigs into a nice solid broom head. Wire well, is used to actually secure all the branches together to get a nice tight compact broom and that's what Mark is doing here. Some, some of them are using a strap to try and draw the material in and some of them have measures on the strap to actually help get the right thickness of broom head which is very important for a nice sweep. Yeah, a leather strap or something under there to yep. get the initial tension in and he's uh, putting his first band of wire on. And Chris is shaving his handle. Now he's putting a pointed end on it to bash it into the, the head later. Do you also shave the bark off, Chris? Yeah. Right, he's going to shave the bark off. I like vehicle. a nice clean handle, unlike Sam. Yeah, well, as he said, he likes a nice... Well, that's the head of his broom. Not his own head, of course. Um, he's using a saw. And I know that Alan, I suspect, will use an axe or something like that for memory. No, he uses a saw, does he? I remember seeing him do it a, a year or two back. In fact, let's stand by to watch what Alan actually does. Just for handle shaving, really. A round shape, did you say? Yeah, round shape. A nice smooth handle is important, and Mark's using what's called a little bit of round shave to get a nice smooth bit of wood in the handle. Here. Hand, a family hand down, and, then and here we are, a bit more checking of the bindings, getting those to look good. Phil is going through, he's smoothed his handle now, more or less, <laughs> doing a bit of final trimming. He's doing really well. This was Phil's first attempt at broom making. I think he was very good when entered the competition. <laughs> but here he goes. Making sure it's going in straight, that's important. Alan's it's making sure he's getting his head nice and firmly into the broom by giving it a good bash. And here we are, we've got a finished broom. <laughs> so that's great there, coming along really well. That's Chris with his broom. It looks a fine broom. So Phil's more or less finished doing his broom here and he's done a great job on it. Just going to put his little number. Each of them had a little, well, letter actually, little letter just to, so it was supposedly anonymous as to who had made which broom for the judging. And Mark's just testing his broom out here to check it's aerodynamic. Great fun, Harry Potter style. Phil, were you actually shown what to do? Were you shown like, the time limit? So, well done, John. Okay, here we are. So, I'll have to so here we have the finished then. brooms. I must say, they look wonderful. I think Alan, Phil, Chris, John, and Mark have done really well with their brooms. So, then comes the judging. And it was really a matter of looking at which had nice smooth handles, which had good compact heads, which had nice clear cutoffs and good bindings, and generally had a nice sweeping action. So quite a tough job for the judges, but they were testing brooms out and making sure they did their job very conscientiously. The handle needs to be central in the head of the broom, and, and a nice flat finish to the head of the broom. Right, nice binding. Quite. So here we have the prize giving and cash prizes were being given out, as well as a very nice cast horse brass for the Wealden Downland 2014. But, um, so you went away actually with a cash prize and a broom if you did well, and Phil, he got third place, which is absolutely excellent for a first attempt. We're well, here at the horse brasses. I anyway, hope you enjoyed watching this film. It was certainly great fun seeing it being done. Thanks for watching.